feels like such a milestone in my life. It's crazy. First ever new lemon. It's so viral. Oh, I just knew I needed one. goes with this outfit. Wait, I can take that off now. Literally, oh my gosh. My phone, entire like bag of something. Keep my, my money and valuables back here. I could see myself using this at both an airport and like, I don't know, at school even. Like if I knew I didn't need anything but my phone at school. It's the white Oh, it's embroidered too, the, the embroidered. Oh, the color is gorgeous. This is not at all the color I pictured it. Oh, okay. I wouldn't zip it up all the way. Hmm, not sure I love the length. Ah, that's probably my favorite feature. Oh, it's kind of smaller than I imagined. I don't know why. I got the right size. I'll have to try it on over some actual active wear. I'll do that in a minute. That's beautiful. I figured I'd use this instead of a backpack because it can be everything from like a gym bag to like a work bag. Okay, it's kind of big. Why are these like not the sizes I thought they would be? Like, hmm. okay, it's giving business casual. Okay, it's kind of big, like wide, but that means it can fit a lot. Yeah, I want to pop out the bottom here. Like workout outfit at the bottom. And like black top on the side. I made a big old mess, didn't I? Let's take care of that. Okay, I'm kind of scared to take off the tag because that seems really permanent. How cute! I don't think I'll ever go back to being a backpack girly. Really. I think this is this is my life now. I feel so special, even like. Like, almost like this is Christmas presents, but I know literally anyone can buy them, so. I'll just put the side part. There we go. Harry Potter. Okay. Like getting heavy on one shoulder though I just have to make sure I like switch up what side I carry it on hey here's the final look it's so cute oh my goodness it looks so sleek and elegant like it could literally go with this right here yep I'm in love Are you coming, bud? Bud, where are you? There he is. Got done walking my baby. I gotta take him somewhere new for a change. He's down here. Can't see. Bud, you poke your head up. There you go. Um. Yeah, I walked him somewhere new for a change because normally I just walk him like right outside my neighborhood. And yeah, this is just a nice change of pace. So we gotta try something new. And he's usually very particular about where he likes walking and where he's comfortable actually like walking and sniffing and being a dog. Sometimes he gets really anxious. Ooh, I'm going for it. But he seemed to like this place. 
so now I'm just on my way home. Got some AC blowing because I got hot. I'm sorry, 58 degrees outside. You got my car absolutely filthy, little baby. I'm falling. No, I'm cleaning again. I'm cleaning again. I'm cleaning. And I've got the feeling that you always make my car gross. Oh, oh. One dog or another. Dude, it's cold in here. I don't know why you're panting. Here, I'll take off your vest. Is that feel better? Or not your vest, your heart. Okay, are you ready though? Okay, I'm making it go full screen. Hold up. Hi, me. <gasps> it's so long. Here, I'll switch it so I'm big. There we go. There's me. 58 minutes long. We get 58 minutes of this pleasurableness. Okay, I'm at zero, zero. Okay, three, two, one, go. This is it. I'm like almost in tears. Like this is all we get of this season. I know. Steven. Team Conrad. Like, we had some good comebacks. Like, this is great. I'm finally showing some emotion. Is this <laughs> Why is Joe driving? This is Conrad's car. I can't believe they're calling it teams. Like they're totally like almost like breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> That's finally the trope. One room, one bed, one room, one bed, one room, one bed. I mean, if I was her, I'd just have everybody in bed. It was a giant bed, and also how warm would that be? <gasps> Look, there's a window into the bathroom. Why is there a window into the bathroom? I don't understand. Oh my gosh, no, he did not just say that. He's a good actor. Better than Conrad, that can only act high.
freaking out about the car scene. Her phone's ringing. Oh my god. I thought that was leading somewhere. Yeah, me too. No, oh, you left it. No. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I'm back with more clothes. Um. First, I don't think I've actually shown you, even though I've been wearing this shirt all day, the back of the shirt. How cute is that? It's giving ballerina. To me, it's giving ballerina. So, anyways. First of all, I got a whole stockade of Aeropostal clothes. And now, I think this shirt is absolutely beautiful. It's, I, and I don't know if this is cringy, but it has a butterfly on it, and that reminds me of Harry Styles. So, I don't know, something about that reminds me of him, and that makes me happy. And then, oh, by the way, these are all clothes that my mom bought me, so I didn't know they were coming. And so I think it's very special that she got me things that I don't necessarily need. Well, I don't need anything, actually. And so I just thought that was very, very kind of her. Um, and then she got me, she got me literally perfume from Aeropostal. It's called Endless Wonder. I actually haven't smelled it yet, because I haven't opened it, but I'm... I don't have any perfume right now, and I don't know if she knew that or not, but it's very sweet. <gasps> That's gorgeous. How stunning is that? That smells good. It smells kind of, like, fresh. I wouldn't say fruity. It smells, like, almost, like, unscent, not unscented, but that smell of clean laundry, almost. I wonder what it's supposed to smell like. It doesn't say. It smells amazing, though. How cute! I almost want to display that. It's stunning. Gorgeous. And then, also from Aeropostal, are these lovely, lovely jeans. They're high-rise, which I love, and have some rips in the knees, and all the way up, too. I have a pair similar to this, but they are a little tighter, because... Oh, I just had some... I realized I had something on my nose. Gross. Because these are... These are jegging. Oh, wait! They're 100% recycled, made from plastic water bottles? How cool is that? We love sustainable living. Slay. And then, this bright green-ish blue seafoam color sweatshirt, also from Aeropostal, and it just says, original brand. How stinking cute. I need so many sweatshirts because that's what I live in while I'm in classes. Is I just live in sweatshirts. What a lovely color. Is, see, is this a medium? It is a medium. It seems a little small, but that's okay because I need oversized hoodies and I need just tighter fitting ones as well. Then from Old Navy, we have this shirt, which I'm not crazy about the print or really the style. I don't think I would have picked this for myself, but, oh, whoops, I realized I just hit that. Um, cute. For, maybe if you were a single mom, but I will still wear it because I didn't buy it, so clothes are clothes. And then, from American Eagle, and this is just crazy to me. It's giving Barbie. It is Barbie. This is Barbie. This is neon bowling Barbie. This is Barbie puts on her little tank top underneath her shirt, and Barbie goes to the roller skating rink. Now I want to go see Barbie again. I've already seen it twice, but now I feel like I need to go see it again wearing this. I love how this is see-through. It's so cute to me, because I don't have anything like that right now. <sighs> I don't know why, but getting new clothes just makes me feel so satisfied. And I know that's horrible because that's feeding into consumerism and all the things we shouldn't be for. Consumerism, overconsumption, unsustainable living. And I know like fast fashion is horrible for the environment, horrible for the planet. I've never shot from Sheen or 
Timu or Wish or any of those, though, because I know those are literally the worst. But still, something about that stack of clothes makes me so happy. And I kind of hate that it makes me happy. Yeah, I'm done thinking about that. Otherwise, I'm going to be sad. I ordered this from Amazon. It's not even exciting. It's a... Oh, you have to charge it? I didn't realize that. That's okay. Um, Ta-da! Oh, okay. Instructions. It's a headband with headphones in it, Bluetooth, because... Um, hold up. That'll fix my hair. Oh, sorry. Because um, I like to sleep with listening to something, and I can't do that in my regular hair headphones wherever they are. So I think this will be nice. I don't intend on using it running or anything, though. I think that's what it's for, but... I'm going to use it to sleep in so I can listen to an audiobook to fall asleep or some calming One Direction. And that is it. That's the whole haul. I thought there was more, but I think it might have just been clean clothes from the laundry that I just need to put away. Okay. That's not much better. Oh well. I'm headed off to UAA. I thought I would capture some of that because I might actually want to look back on it because I'm doing a new student orientation and I just need to. It's kind of nerve wracking because I haven't been to that campus, but once I've done it, I've done it. And then after that, I'll be good to go. Oh yeah, I'm wearing the sweatshirt today as well in case it gets chilly. But yeah, so I'm headed off to UAA, and I'm going to do the holidays orientation. And that starts at 12.30, and I'm supposed to get done at 5 p.m. Oh, that seems like a really long time to me, so hopefully it gets done before then. I don't want to spend all day in Anchorage. Looks more cropped. Let's rearrange that a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Okay, I just really wanted to show my hair because I think it's really cute. I just thought I should get this on camera because it's a cute moment. I've never, ever, ever, ever done this hairstyle in my life. I was feeling frisky this morning and I was like, what if I did something more interesting than I normally do? And I was like, well, I know how to do twists. And I only usually put my all my hair in one twist. And then I was like, what if I did two twists back into like a... I don't know what to call that. And one one ponytail, I guess. Sides pulled back. I don't know. But I, but then I liked them both just separately. I was like, well, that's really cute. It's giving kind of boho vibes. Um, there's just a little kid standing on the sidewalk right there by himself. I'll show you. So there's that. Interesting. I'm going to meet a friend. Okay, this is a crazy story, and I feel like I should document this. But I'm going to meet a friend who I haven't seen since sixth grade. And I'm graduated, just for context. I haven't seen this person in 12 years. Wait, that's not how math works. I haven't seen this person since we were 12. No, 11, because I stay one age through an entire grade. So I haven't seen this person since I was 11, so six years ago. There we go. I figured out time. Um, I haven't seen this person since I was in sixth grade. And now I'm graduated, and we're going to meet up for coffee. We used to start DMing on Instagram, and we were kind of like, maybe we should get reconnected. And we kind of, we never really stayed in contact after sixth grade, um, because we went to separate schools after that. And then... 
just recently on Instagram, we've been messaging about random stuff, and then we're like, well, what if we met up and like went out to coffee together? And so this is such an interesting moment. Um, hopefully it's just like old old times, as if we had old times. We literally just talked about school and random things like that while we were at school. Um, so yeah, anyways, hopefully we still get along, I should say. We could have con gone completely separate paths. It's totally a possibility that we have nothing in common anymore and we don't even, like, won't even have anything to talk about. But I also just got done from with a meeting at church. Um, we were going over the qualification, not qualifications, the process of being a youth group leader. And I was, it was mostly things I already knew, it was mostly review, but we also talked about things like uh, how youth groups should be structured and what, how to make it feel like an actual community. And um, you need to go to both the church and youth group. It's not just a one day commitment, it's an all week process. And how to really invest in their lives, how to be authentic but not overshare, and like air dirty laundry. Um, just got to know the other leaders that are going to be leaders in our grade. Um, I'm doing sixth grade girls, obviously, because that's really the only one I'm like old enough to do. Otherwise, I'd be more like a peer than a leader, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we really, or my church at least, really has this like multi generational vision. It's even in like the, not the doctrine, but like the statement of faith. I think that's what it's called of our church is that we have a multi generational um, vision, I should say, program to where I went through all the grades doing youth group, and now that I'm graduated from that, I'm able to be a youth leader to kids younger than me. But also, I have some, there's a youth leader who's in about 30, and then another youth leader, she's probably like, maybe 40? I don't know. I'm really bad at guessing women's ages. But like, we have this very generational, like, someone in this phase of life, someone in this phase of life, someone in this phase of life, um, that just really works to uh, be engaged in younger people's lives. Um, for me, my youth leaders are all relatively the same age. They were all almost exactly the same age. Um, but that's not really relevant. Um, I really need some chapstick. But I'm also wearing this really cute outfit that I'm, like, really loving. Just my hair and this outfit put together. I'm feeling like a million dollars. And what am I doing today? I went to a church meeting and now I'm meeting a friend for coffee. Yep. But I did write, we were supposed to fill out these little, like, get to know you things about being a youth group leader or or like what you should know about your youth group leader and I wrote on mine it was just supposed to be points so the girls get to know you so my one of my bullet points was I'm interested in the fashion industry and in merchandising and I was like that about sums up what I like about the fashion industry I'm not yeah I'm not like interested in the design aspect of it because I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't have like that need to be like drawing and and designing. Like, ooh, what if a shirt looked like this or whatever? I'm more interested in like once once the clothes, like the product.